guys welcome to my youtube channel make sure you subscribe and comment other videos you would like to see um so for this video i am going to show you real quickly how to create an automation inside of honeybook a lot of you guys ask me how do i have uh, my automation set up so i'm going to show you an example of what you would do when you go into HoneyBook. So this is the home screen. Now to access your um, automations, you have to make sure for one, that you are on the essentials plan. If you have the first plan that's the cheapest, you will not have access to automation. So make sure you're at least on the essentials plan. If you want to save money, I will drop my link in the description so you can save money yearly, all right? So, you want to go over here, hover your cursor over the tools, then we're going to go right here to automations. When we click on this, it is going to bring up examples of automations that you can use um, and give you the option for new automation. So, in this case, we're going to create a new automation. All right, so this is how it will look. It will read, it will be very blank. So you have to go in and adjust it, of course. So what I like to do, click on the first action. And let's say you want to send an email out, whether you have a call center, a virtual agency, whatever the case may be. But this is how you will set up the automations across all business types. So if you want to send an email, you will click on send email. You want to create new email template. Then you just want to type up your email that you have. So let's say, for example, I have a call center and I want to send a welcome email. In the body paragraph, you can put something to your liking. You can use ChatGPT to help you come up with this. But you could typically say something along the lines of welcome aboard. This is just an example. And if you want to add an attachment, you can click on this attachment and attach a file or something that's already in your library. So for this example, I'm just gonna choose a picture, click attach. If you wanna add an email signature, you can do so right here. And that will pop up. You will click save. And this will be your template name. So if you wanna reuse it in the future, you can also have this template name so you can remember. Hit save again. And this is how you create automation. Now, when the time parts come up, you want to go over here to when. So when do you want this automation to be sent out? All right. So typically, if you want something to send automatically after they apply to your company or fill out a um, contact form or a questionnaire, you want to leave it on zero and change the days to minutes and keep after on after. And the first automation is always going to say automation is activated. So you're going to leave that like that. All right. Make sure you always hit save after each automation because it will not automatically save for you. Now, let's say you want to create a second automation. And maybe you want to send a smart file or a template that you created inside of HoneyBook. So we're going to send smart file via email. And then we're just going to pick a file just randomly. All right, and that's going to attach for you. Now, you want to also send an email letting them know what they are receiving. So, I'm going to click send via email, create new email template again, and we're just going to say welcome packet for agents. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, in this body paragraph, we will just say something along the lines of please read over the welcome packet attached to this email if you have questions reach out to us hit save and that's how you create another automation now for the second one this will be a little bit different um, as far as the timing so the win let's say you want to send this maybe 10 minutes after the previous automation okay so this is what this piggybacking off of so the second automation is going to be after 
the previous automation. So we're going to say 10 minutes after. Now the set the rest of the automation will say previous step is complete. So the first one is automation is activated. But always remember your second automation, your third automation, fourth, fifth, and so on and so forth, you want to have previous step is complete. Okay, make sure you remember that because if not, it will mess up your automations and it will not send out. Okay, now you're going to hit save. Now, I know you may be asking, well, how is the automation activated? Well, let me show you what I do. So we're going to go back out and I'm going to show you how you can connect it to this automation. So we're going to go to tools, contact form. And let's say you want to create this form for people to fill out to um, join your virtual call center business, or if you have a booking company for photography or balloon decorations, let's say you want them to fill out this contact form. So this is just my call center application. I'm going to show you how it will look on your end when you first create one. So this is how it will look. And you can go in here and adjust it to your liking. So let's say you want to add something else maybe you want to add a paragraph so we're going to go to content and full with text and we'll just say please fill out this form and we will get back to you okay we want to move this to the top and let's say this is what we want them to fill out okay so we're going to go to publish and as long as it say it has been successfully created, then it's saved. So to make it connect, we're going to go back out, go to our automation. So this is the automation that we just created. Now, as you can see, my first one is connected to my automations, but this one, we're going to change it to default for contact form. So let's change the setting on this one first, just for a second. Uh oh, I pressed the wrong button. Let's go back. So we're going to change this just for a second, just so I can give you guys an example. Now, for it to connect and trigger, you're going to click the drop down, go all the way down to where it says default for contact form. Therefore, when they fill out the contact form that we just created, when they hit submit, it is going to send out the set of automations. So the automation that we created, zero minutes after they hit submit, this email is going to be sent out to them. This email right here. 10 minutes after this gets sent out, 10 minutes after this email will be sent out to them. Okay, so this is how I set up my automations for my virtual call center business. And you can do the same thing no matter what type of business you're in. So I hope this video helps. If you have any questions, make sure you drop them down in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe because I will be dropping more videos weekly. Thank you for tuning in and I hope this helps.